Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Disney Star Smash. Today I'm going to be playing the Monsters Inc. event, which is literally just... I don't know when this video is coming out, but for me right now, it just came out. So I'm going to start with the extra stage on the very hard. I have not done it. So here's the hazard for this map. It is the firewall. So I'm going to hope that I can get a friend using this specific unit right here. All these units, no. It's not Woody and Lotto, but... Okay, so only two of these units are immune to the firewalls. Honestly, I've been thinking of changing up this team. Um, I'm going to see if I can find someone. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Now, excuse me as I try and find someone to, that's hosting BRB. All right, found a team. So now let's see if we're actually able to do it now. Oh, man. So yeah, Monsters, Inc. So, I haven't done a summon in a very long time, and the reason is, is that I'm saving a lot of my currency. I don't know who's going to be the next festival yeah, unit, the next two the units, but it seems pretty darn likely that we're going to know in a week's time. Because <laughs> that's the way, that's the format that they've all been following. So I've also never done the Sage, so let's hope it goes good. But it should be good because we got two Sullian likes who seem... If you don't know this, basically in Star Smash, the main banner unit is always made to counter the stages that are here. So, Mike and Sully can easily counter this stage, so having two shouldn't be an issue. Let's see if he... okay. Got it. Oh, damn. So, Mike and Sully are basically a mini version of um, the rival versus, the male's rival versus the um, mysterious unit. Like, down to, like, their main ability, because <laughs> their main ability is, like, two balls, and the boys versus is, um, three. So let me quickly get into this, and let's see how this goes. Yeah. Now, hopefully, the girls versus should be immune to this, if I remember correctly. Yes, they are. Okay, almost got it. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, get him. Yes, perfect. Learning to do some of those curb shots. Shout out to Zenron for actually <laughs> telling me how to do it finally. But yeah, they're always like designed in a way that they could easily take down the stage. At least I think so. Um, so yeah, as you can see right there, that's their ability to do this. Um, but yeah, I'm saving a lot. At this point, there's really no reason. Because if you're someone like me who's free to play, or someone like let me make that a more accurate statement if you're someone like me who only spends for the monthly pass um your best bet is saving up for the um for the pity and only summoning on fest banners festival style banners because those are the best units of the game though i will say mike and sully seem really damn good and so did cinderella and so did um princess and the frog i totally suffered from not summoning on princess and the frog for the time attack i just literally could not beat it um at the highest ranking and i was so damn close i was like off by a couple seconds i was off by 10 seconds and it was mm, driving me insane <sighs> So yeah, there are reasons to summon other, but if you're someone like me who's specifically mostly free to play, then don't do that. At least that's what I think. The game is pretty generous with currency, so you could totally live that lifestyle. But the problem is, is that the rates in this game suck. They're so bad. I didn't realize how bad they were until I was going for winning the poo. Alright, you got this, bro. I believe in you. Just go two ball. Two ball it, bro. You got this. So yeah, they're like a not as strong version of the boys, which it makes sense, but the boys are extremely good. Like that ability right there I think is one of the best ones that you can have. The problem is is that it's so easy to screw up, which kind of goes with the two ball, because the two ball is also super easy to screw up. Let's see if he does it right. You're not going to let me have enough to have. Good effort though, good effort. We're not gonna take a lot of damage though. The gimmick here is that his charge is based off of how much he sucks up, but he hasn't sucked up anything so it should be fine. But he sucked up one, who cares. I should be able to clean it up after this. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, apparently not. 
I can't believe it aimed at the wrong place. That's annoying. Come on, I got this. There we go. Um, all I care about is getting the S rank. If it takes a little bit more time, it's fine. Mm, I think we got this. We should be able to end this, right? We got this. And this is the harder version of the stage. Ah, uh, okay. The real shame here is that the girls versus is just not doing enough damage. <laughs> because then they don't have, um... They don't have type of damage, so they do way less damage. The Alice in Wonderland is also kind of a bummer, but it's okay. I'm surprised that someone actually has Alice in Wonderland. Because they were, like, the second event of the entire game. So actually very hard to have. You'd have to be playing an extremely long time. That should be enough? Nowhere near enough, actually. Jesus. It's okay, buddy. I doubt we're going to be able to get S rank now that I think about it. I don't think he wants to leave it up to Alice in Wonderland. I don't think this is a fully built out Mike and Sully. I'll check when it's uh, Alice in Wonderland's turn. <laughs> Alice in the Red Queen, I should say. Oh, it has Kaja. That sucks. I hate Kaja so much. He's level 3. Level 3 ain't bad. Let's see what you want. Oh, they have the extremely hard ball move. Uh, you're doing fine, though. You know, all things considered, I think you're doing perfectly fine. Can you finish this off? You cannot finish this off, then. Then what you did was foolhardy. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on! Don't waste... At least they apologized. But come on, you, you don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I hate when people do that. Unless you can confirm the kill, don't do that. It's better to leave your partner loose enough to do their ability. Well, I guess it's not too bad because you know Mike and Soli only have the one ability. <sighs> that sucks. Don't, don't. What are you doing? They're not gonna turn back. Oh, I see what you're doing. Come on. Oh, I wasn't strong enough. Come on. He's not gonna have enough damage. No, he might. Thank you. Oh, I got the, oh, I got the, oh, I got my favorite one too. Let's see if this was enough to S rank. Yeah, that's all that really matters. But yeah, this one's not too bad from what it looks like. I think the Cinderella one was way harder for new players because that ability where um, they had a shield was a real motherfucker for some players. <laughs> oh, very good, very nice. Let's see. I need to do an extra stage one more time. And of course, if you are a guest, you do not lose your extra stage, which is why it's so hard to find a person willing to run as a host. They're true kings and queens. Um, so yeah, there's Sully and Randall. Wait. Thank you. Let me get that first. Always confirm the money. I will have plenty of time to get these two level 100. I'm not worried about that. So yeah, the one thing that's actually cool that I wanted to show here, because they added this, it's cool, but also it's... So as you can see here, if you beat the main stage 60 times, you get a gold ticket that can guarantee a SR or SSR character. Now, I bet you're thinking like, oh, I bet that means I can use it on the banner. No, it's a separate banner, which does not feature any of the new characters added after Aladdin. So every event character after Aladdin, which are on the main gotcha right now, um, are not added to the game, which is kind of a bummer. I think it's a huge bummer. So I guess they did it because they don't want people. Like, it's only three. I've already used one of them because they were in here as well. Yeah. They're in the metal gotcha. So you already got one. But if I'm only going to be summoning like one, two, 
two. So one, two, three, four times. <laughs> like, come on. Don't be silly. Open it up to the main banner. What am I gonna do with four summons? Fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I don't think I can show it here because I've already summoned on it. I can show you the two banner units. Here's Mike and Sully, and here's Boo and this guy. A very cute Boo, I think. There's Princess and the Frog, as I said. Ah, so sad. So sad I was not able to get it. But it's fine. Um, let me see if I can make here. So yeah, you can see here that this has every single character on it, <laughs> based off of the many shadows. The ticket doesn't have it. Also, the SSR rates for the silver ticket are 1% as opposed to 4% that it's on here, which is, come on. I think it could be a little bit better. Hopefully they do improve it on the next time around, because they usually like to improve stuff. Um, but I don't know, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. I don't know when I'll be doing the next Star Smash video. I'll see when the next festival unit is, and I'll give my thoughts about them. I think I'll try that again. I like playing Star Smash. I played a whole bunch. So I'm always glad to talk about it. But until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.